Hello everyone. Today we have a topic related to Aurica Cloud Infrastructure, where you will see how we can host a static website, Beator React, essentially a pre-compiled application, how you could host over the internet without managing any infrastructure. So with this, please like, subscribe, share the channel, drop in a comment if you have any questions, and please subscribe to our newsletter as well. As you can see on my screen, the topic is to have the static website hosting in Oracle Cloud. And in this case, we have a web application that we want to host on Oracle Cloud infrastructure, and we want to set up static website hosting. So what we will do in this demo is we will walk through configuring static hosting of a rich, ahead of time compiled JavaScript web application using Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Object Storage and API Gateway. The same approach can be applied to any scenario in which you want to serve a static file over HTTP, whether it is for simpler application or static web pages that can provide a reliable online experience to your users on the OCI platform. This is the architecture diagram where you see the users, they will be connecting over the DNS. And this is the internet gateway. We need to have the API gateway on the public subnet. And this object storage is going to be private. It wouldn't be publicly accessible and it will be interfacing via the API gateway to render the resources. And all this will be set up in a VCN, which is a virtual cloud network. Let me jump to the demo aspect and show you how you could go about setting up static website on Oracle Cloud. I'm going to be requiring the object storage and you can search for object. You could see the bucket. This is the service that we are going to be using. API management is what we'll be spinning up. And what this also requires is VCN, oh, which is a virtual cloud network. I yeah, move here in my test compartment, and I don't have any resources. First, what we do is we'll create a VCN, and I'll just provide this as a static website demo. I'm going to be deleting this, so I, this should be fine. And what I'll do is I'll just provide 10.2.0.0 slash 16 cider, which is the network range for this particular net. Uh, DNS here for the VCN here. IPv6, I don't need it. And now what I could do is actually let me cancel from here because the other one is I'll choose this one, the VCN wizard. It was a lot more simpler compared to using a VCN. You choose the wizard option because it'll spin up the object subnet along with the internet gateway. If you don't use this, you have to do everything manually. So let me start again and static website. Level. This is the side. Let me give it a range of 20. And uh, here, let me give it 20. And 20. This is the the public and private. I think this should be good enough. And that this is what I was saying. It will automatically set up the internet gateway, the route table. This, if I have to do all that, is going to take quite some time. Now I have this setup and the security list. Now this is what will be coming and updating as well. And I hit create. It will take a few minutes. We can resume again. Now the VCN is created. Let's view the VCN. This is where the VCN is. And the, I have these two uh, subnets created. What I also need to check is the security, security list. Because at least for the public one, I need to allow the network traffic. So let me go to the subnet. Choose the public subnet here. Just ensuring that the networking is not an issue. Okay, so this is the default one. Let me select it. And I just have 22. So what I need to allow is I need to allow the HTTP traffic. So let me update this rule. And uh, I'm going to allow anybody from internet to be able to come here and source range all and destination. And I just give all protocol. You shouldn't do this. You should give HTTP and HTTPS. But just for this demo, I'm giving all traffic. Now the traffic should be good. Negress tools are good. It's allowing all traffic. So not a problem. Let's just quickly also check the internet gateway and the route tables. This is what we have the default route table which is uh, for the public subnet, you see the internet gateway is attached. So from the VCN side, we should be good. Now let's go and spin up the object pocket over here. You could again come back to the search option and select the pocket. I'll just open a new tab. Choose the compartment. Create a bucket. I'll just stay a static website. Wait demo. Click create. Now this is where you can approach your static content. I do have a few objects already, so let me uh, select the files to upload. Now I've uploaded a few files, which are HTML, 
and I can click upload, and if I need to upload files in a folder, I just can't drag the folder, because if I drag it doesn't upload, so what I need to do is, I need to first create a folder, and this is where I will come, I will create a folder, give it a name, CSS, and then, you, choose this folder, and you will need to, upload, this is unlike, the other, clouds, where you, we have the option of uploading everything, but here we need to just, we can just only upload files, add the folders, and now let me upload, a few more, which is the IMG, just so we have those images showing up, okay, I think this should be enough, at least to see the page, even though it's not beautiful, but you get the point, that we need to upload the content on this bucket, and once we are done, then we will be able to specify our API gateway. Now what we also need to do, we need to create a pre-authenticated request. And this is where we will be doing a pre-authenticated request. So a pre-authenticated request will allow the Oracle API gateway to serve the distribution files over the internet gateway. And it's also called a PAR, and it will just provide access, so you would need to come here, create this pre-authenticated request. Uh, I'll just give it YT demo par. I just give it bucket. You could have reads over here. You could do both, but I'll just give it for the bucket and create the request. Now, this is where I should copy this. Just copy it because it says you can't, it will not be shown again. So just have this copied because you will be needing this going forward. So now let's go and move to the Oracle API gateway. I'll choose the API, the Oracle API gateway. It enables you to publish APIs with private endpoints that are accessible from within your network and which you can expose over public IP addresses. If you want the gateway to accept internet traffic, these endpoints will support API validation, request and response transformation, course, cross-origin request, authentication and authorization, and request submitting. Now, let's create the API gateway. So, let's give the name static. Oops, sorry. Keep it public because we need to have it in the public one. I choose the virtual network. There's only one over here. The subnet, we are going to be choosing a public subnet. Certificate, will you just leave the, the API Oracle and hit create. This takes some time, so while this is creating, we'll come back once the gateway is done. Now our API gateway is ready. What we'll do is, we will navigate to deployments and create a new deployment. Click this new deployment and give the name root and give just slash so every path, path is forwarded. This is going to be the base of the URL. Uh, if you want, we could set up TLS cars, but for now, we don't need any of the setup. And you can just keep the end. We can go to the next setup. Just do no authentication because you want your website to be public. Uh, not, not really going about authentication. Now, this is where what we do is we select multiple backends because we need to have the multiple routes added over here. Choose the path. This is the path end. I'll provide like here in the path field. And in the method, choose a get, and here, choose bat. In the path, you provide the name, rec. This is what you will provide. Define the backend here. Click on this one, and you provide a default rule. If anything doesn't match at all, come to this ref uh, rule over here. Choose this value, and just make it default. Then give it HTTP. Now this is where the URL that we copied is going to be required and give this particular URL that we added along with the index.html offer head define. We will need to define a few more for the other objects that are going to be there. First of all, we also need to have a JS, which is for JavaScript. You can do JS rule, choose wildcard like, and give it start or JS for the, all the JS files and choose HTTP. And give the URL. The format of the URL is after this, we need to add this certain format. And let me zoom in. And if it is not clear, we'll be here on the website. But this same information is also there in the blog, which is there on the comment. You can check it out. So do this way, which is request dot path. And you do rec. So this is the format you will need to provide. And now once this is done, hit define. You none of this we need for now. And we'll do with this for a few more ones, which is like CSS. Do this for CSS rule. Wildcard expression is start on CSS and give HTTP 
and provide this option. Actually, I should have copied it, but let me just type it again, which is going to be dollar and this request at that end, frec, it define, and then again, last option is I'll just give img rule, a wildcard, star dot dra. Let me see though, the data that I uploaded here. I'll just change it to JPEG because all I uploaded was JPEG, pretty at JPEG, and HTTP, and request dot at, and give it this this is the square bracket and this is the curly bracket all this syntax is going to be in the blog as well hit define now we have these uh, deployments created hit next review this to ensure everything is looking good and create now what this will do it will create your deployments and deployed we should be able to come here in the endpoint and once we hit it it should be working Give it a few minutes and we can resume once this is created. Okay. So now this is active and what we can do is we can click the endpoint here, copy it, and if we come to the browser, put over here, choose this uh, endpoint and ensure if you, if I put like this, I will get a bad gateway because I didn't pop it. But this is where you should, if you'd get bad gateway that's there, but just hit index. Others by default, it should be routed to your web page. So you see, there's a few CSS I didn't upload, but you get the point that this is the static content, and now your website is being rendered on the browser without having to provision a new web server in Oracle Cloud infrastructure. With this, I hope you were able to understand how to go about hosting the static website. All this information is there in the blog. Please take it out. And as always, please like, subscribe, share our channel. And there is another product, Cloud My Site, where you could do 100% cloud hosting. It's websites, one WordPress static at the HTML website builder, as well as business emails. Please share with your friends and family who want a near 100% availability with world-class support and a 100% on cloud. So with that, have a good day and we'll see you in the next video.